Hi, good morning. Thank you guys for joining us today. Um, I hope everybody's doing well. Before we get into the presentation for Job Club this week, I wanted to discuss with everybody what exactly Job Club is. You'll hear me use that term throughout the presentation, so I just wanted to give you guys a clear idea of what I am referring to. So Job Club is a weekly seminar hosted by each of our campuses across Ontario. Every week our students and members of the public are actually encouraged to join us as well. We gather to discuss anything job related or job search related for me. So we go over interview skills, professionalism, resume writing, any topic that the students present to us and wish us to create a seminar about in the future, we can also put together. So again, it's really just a discussion where in person, in class, we get together and have everyone join in to discuss job search strategies. Due to the current situation, we are opening up the opportunity and hosting the virtual job clubs, which is what we're doing today. And so I hope you enjoy. What I'm going to do is share my screen with you so we can start the presentation. Okay, we'll just give it a moment to start. So here we go, finding a job during the COVID-19 pandemic. Here are some job search strategies. Battling unemployment and making career changes. Here you will find a four point strategy, which maps out the steps one should take when preparing for a career change. Uh, we're gonna go into each step a bit into each step more detailed uh, throughout the presentation, but I just wanted to lay out the strategy uh, for you to see all together. So step number one, perform a self-evaluation. Step number two, create a job search portfolio based on your existing skills and experience. Step number three, evaluate available job postings and determine if you have the skills required. And step four, plan for skills development to fill the gap. So step number one, a great place to start is to perform a self-evaluation and makes it easier for you to consider existing jobs. Self-evaluation is very important to have because it gives you an honest idea of where we are in relation to what our future goals are. So by understanding this, we're able to map out a plan or course of action, which gets us from point A to point B. Um, if you would like, there is a link attached and you can start by doing a skills assessment at this link. Step number two, creating job search portfolios. Uh, there are many individuals that are currently out of work, working restricted or uh, reduced hours or working from home. If you're able to take some time to invest in yourself while we are at home, uh, it, it's a great opportunity. Now is the time to review and update your resume based on your most recent experiences. Experiences include both work and educational updates. So it's very important to keep this updated because it shows that you are invested in your personal growth. Don't forget to tailor your resume package to each job you apply to. This might sound like a lot of extra work, but it will really be beneficial in the end. A lot of employers and HR departments, when they put a job posting up, they actually use a software for incoming resumes, and this sorts out the resumes for them based on the vocabulary used. So if you are applying for a position, it is a great idea to go through the job posting, take some of the vocabulary and phrases used, input that into your resume. So that way, if you are sent through one of these uh, sorting softwares, your resume will stand out. They do this uh, in order to save time and be more effective and efficient with the job search um, action. So uh, many jobs might receive two or 300 resume or applications. So in order to lean that down and save some time, these softwares are able to uh, narrow that resume input down to maybe 25 or 50, depending on what the settings are. But if you are only receiving 25% of those resumes as an employer, you are ensuring that those resumes are as close to what you have requested in the job requirements. 
candidates. So again, make sure you are tailoring your resume and cover letter to match the particular job search uh, you are applying for. Your resume package should also include a cover letter, resume, and refer reference list. Don't forget that once you have completed an interview, send a follow-up. Uh, many people send a follow-up email or they, they do a follow-up call. This shows that you're invested. You're not just running through interviews with, without a preference in mind. It shows that you are dedicated and uh, organized as well. So follow up with uh, the employers you've interviewed with. LinkedIn is uh, a great source for career-related information. If you're unfamiliar with LinkedIn, this is a social social networking platform. And I want to say it's similar to Facebook in the sense that you create a profile, you have a picture, you're able to post articles or statuses, but please remember this is career focused. So it must remain professional. It's not unheard of for HR departments or employers. Once they complete an interview and they have a list of candidates, they will go through social media. They'll check profiles to see if you represent yourself well. So they will check for a LinkedIn account to make sure you have some sort of online presence. They might even check it on your Facebook or Instagram. So make sure that you're an upstanding individual in that sense, okay? Keep it professional. You wanna reach out to your network. Um, this is super important because you never know who has a connection to an opportunity that might benefit you. So when I say reach out to your network, you're not necessarily going up to every individual and asking them for jobs. Keep your plans or your interests and goals a regular part of your conversation. You don't have to be asking or requesting. Just just discuss your goals with your friends and family and you never know what opportunities could come out of it. Make sure you stay in uh, close contact with former colleagues, again, because you never know what opportunities they might move into, which might be beneficial for you. Here is a link towards the bottom, uh, HTTPS NicolaReese.com slash how to promote yourself online. This is a great website. He has some great information on how to market yourself. So for those of you that are not familiar with creating a LinkedIn uh, profile or you're just not sure where to start, this gentleman has some great resources available on his site. Evaluate existing jobs. So two popular sites that are great resources for job listings online are www.jobbank.gc.ca slash home. This is actually a government website, so they have a lot of great job opportunities that you might not find on regular job banks. The second is indeed.ca. Indeed is great because it's very user friendly. Uh, they actually have an app which you can install to your computer or your smartphone. With Indeed, they have a wide variety of jobs available, very detailed descriptions, salaries to be expected and whatnot. And I find it wonderful because you can have the employer message you directly through the app. And this is super important because everybody has different schedules. You know, some people work days or nights or, or weekends and evenings. Um, and it might be the opposite. So when a, a, an employer is trying to reach out to you by telephone, you might not be home or available and it might not fit your schedule to call them back. So a lot of missed opportunities can arise there. With the Indeed app, which you can get <laughs> through the Play Store, um, it's, it's very simple to use, very user friendly, and you can connect directly with the um, hiring managers through there once they receive your resume and if they decide that you could be a good candidate. You're gonna compare some of your resumes with the skills that are required in job listings. If there's skills that appear to come up frequently in postings and you require the upgrading, I would suggest you investigate on how to acquire those skills. Don't forget there are ways to overcome barriers. Uh, if you're not meeting each and every individual requirement on a job listing, a lot of employers will actually take a look at your experience and see if, you know, maybe that experience can substitute. Uh, if you're passionate about the field you're going into, sometimes they'll make exceptions. Remember, when they put these job postings up, the requirements are for their ideal candidate. So 
it's it's very rare that somebody might meet each and every very specific one. Um, again, you're going to want to ensure that you are qualified, you will know what you're doing, but if there are a few requirements that you don't meet, don't let it discourage you. Just be open and honest and willing to learn. Upskill. So if you do find that you will require some sort of upskilling, I have listed some great programs available. Uh, all are offered through our college. And so you should consider some online courses or in-class courses in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Essential Skills, or College Prep. I decided to focus on these programs because they will provide you with transferable skills. So for example, if you are going into landscaping, Okay, and you see yourself in a very physically demanding job, you're not going to be in an office, so you don't think any of these skills will apply to you. If you were to take a Microsoft Office or QuickBooks course, this is going to stand out on your resume for a few reasons. Number one, you are investing in yourself and ensuring that you continue to grow. And number two, you are going to have transferable skills that can be an asset to the company. So looking at a landscaping job, for example, you start at an entry position, you are working outdoors, uh, it might be seasonal or it might be year round, but you are physically outdoors working. So you don't see any connection to these skills. A great reason to have Microsoft Office or QuickBooks is because it will prepare you to assist the company if a promotion opens up. Many companies want to hire from within. You already know the business, you already know the staff, you know the clientele and you know the business needs. If you have Microsoft Office or QuickBooks on your resume, you are gonna stand out because you will be able to assist with creating schedules, managing inventory, processing payroll. Um, there's many different transferable skills that come with programs such as these. And again, because they're transferable, let's say you leave that landscaping job and you move on to another field that you're interested in, these skills don't change from field to field. Microsoft Office for landscaping will be as relevant as Microsoft Office for a customer service position. Okay. Why choose Progressive Training College? So I've just included a few benefits of our college that all of the staff are incredibly proud of. We're experienced and dedicated instructors and staff, job-focused programs that get you ready to go, we don't fill up your programs with anything that's unnecessary. We really want you to be focused on your job. Affordable education, flexible class schedules, small class sizes is something that's very important to us. This allows for one-on-one -on -one instruction when required. We never have any more than 10 students per instructor. So you do have that individualized program and time set up. You don't feel like you're just a number. You have a uh, you know, that professional relationship, student-teacher relationship with your instructors. And again, the weekly job club. So what other school offers a free program where everybody can sort of just get together and discuss any concerns that they have related to job search? Uh, and this just speaks to how focused we are on getting you guys job ready. Again, just some benefits of job clubs. Students gather each Friday, and again, depending on the, the campus, it might vary, but once a week we gather and we hold a job search work workshop. So popular topics covered are resume building, interview skills, networking, and professionalism. I've listed a few programs here that are super important right now to the economy, uh, these jobs, even looking at what we're going through right now with the pandemic, these jobs are in demand. These courses will get you prepped and ready to go. Uh, the 40 hour security guard course prepares you to write your licensing exam with um, CERCO. CERCO issues the licenses for Ontario. Uh, this is a course you could do in class or online. Uh, of course right now, because we are Respecting the social distancing and physical distancing restrictions, we are offering everything online. However, this course, once we go back to our regular in-class instruction, this course will remain available online. Customer service or customer service in the cannabis industry, two great industries that are really focused on uh, ensuring the success of a business through great service. So these are two positions now that are required more than ever. As people begin to get back into being able to go into a retail environment, 
customer service agents are going to be in high demand again. And something to look into, the cannabis industry is growing. They need and require students to have a great foundation and understanding of products, of the uh, Cannabis Act, which will go through the legal aspects of everything. So these are two great options here. Dispatch operator, uh, again, through the pandemic, many people have been working through home. This includes customer service agents or dispatch operators. Being able to work remotely is a great asset. And I think a lot of employers are going to be moving in that direction in the future. Office admin, again, uh, this is a great uh, program just because there are always going to be positions available to run an office. And this is something you could do from home. So if you'd like to check out a full list of our programs offered, you can head to our website at www.ptcollege.com slash programs. Financing your education doesn't have to be a headache. We have a lot of great opportunities. We have monthly and extended monthly payment plans, higher ed points, second career funding, and gateway opportunities. So we'll go into detail here. Second career funding is a program assisted to uh, help those if you've been laid off or if you meet several other criteria and they have a list, uh, you may qualify for assistance. So you can actually check out the website, secondcareerontario.com to see if you qualify. And they will actually fund, I believe, up to $10,000 for a program for you. Higher Ed Points is really cool. Uh, it's really something that shows that uh, everybody's evolving with uh, technology and these loyalty point programs. So you can actually redeem loyalty points for higher ed points. So higher ed points can be used by students to pay down their tuition. Uh, if you can click on the link, higheredpoints.com, you will see in further detail what sort of points you can use. It's usually TD points or uh, points collected through credit cards through banks. So take a look at the website and you can find all the details there. Again, I've listed online options available. The 40-hour security training course has been approved to run online. All of our courses are temporarily offered through online correspondence due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But if you have any questions about what will happen after we uh, get back to in-class instruction, feel free to reach out to me. I'll put my contacts up at the end of this video. I always like to end with a quote. So a great quote I found by Oliver Wendell Holmes Jr. A mind that is stretched by new experiences can never go back to its old dimensions. So this is so relevant to everybody. Every experience, whether it be educational formally or just something we learn through practical experiences, you know, that's something that can never be taken away from us. Learning is growing and we will never go back to being who we were before we took that learning journey. So I thought that was a great quote to include. So uh, thank you for participating. I wanted to thank Mike uh, from the Barry campus. He was able to provide some information for this presentation. If you have any questions, you can email me at ssloan at ptcollege.com and I'll be happy to help you out. If you wanna to head to our website and find a campus near you, Again, all our information is at www.ptcollege.com. So I hope you found this helpful. If there's anything that you need, again, check out the website. All of our contacts are up there and we'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much and take care.